gonna make a move out here when we came up the hill because they were gobbling about right where the truck was. I don't know what to do. He's gobbling his butt off. He's gobbling like crazy. I've got one goblin out here. Uh, might be too bad. They seem to like to travel right here on the edge of this big woods. Right above the creek, so. We've got big ones going on. Heard some birds on the roost. Uh, kind of got quiet. The decoy was down here, and uh, they were with hens, and they just walked right on down to us. That goblin's up this morning, and we know there's some turkey on him. Hey guys, welcome to Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Jim Davis. And I'm Dave Bunnell. And up first this week, Jim, we're going to head to Harrison County, West Virginia with you. And you got pro staff member Gary Stevens running the camera for you. Hey, good morning, guys. We are in the last week of the West Virginia turkey season. And I still have not filled a tag. Uh, Gary's been hunting with me uh, quite a bit late season being my cameraman. And I really appreciate him doing that because it is... A lot less pressure when you got a cameraman than when you're trying to self-film it. A little history on these birds we've been playing cat and mouse with. The uh, the first morning that we got up here, we hunted uh, up on the ridge and got set perfect on him. Probably about 80 to 100 yards off the roost, you know, made some sweet tree calls and just thought it was going to happen. And a hen kind of flew out of the treetops and went to him. And the next gobble we heard, he he had dropped. He just went straight down over the hill into the field, and uh, you know didn't even come out on that flat. And I've killed several gobblers out there on that flat, so I was convinced that's the way he wanted to go. But he flew down in the field, so we circled around and uh, headed down towards the well pad. And uh, we saw him down there, but it was just too open to get a shot. And you know we we worked him a little bit, but it just didn't happen. So we decided the next time we hunted, we were going to be right in that field. So I went over there the evening before and roosted him. He was right there, and uh, I'd cut out a little patch in a greenbrier patch. We got our backs up against that greenbrier patch and thought we'd take a chance there. And sure enough, man, he flew right into the field just like he was supposed to. A uh, hen flew about 30 yards out, and I figured for sure that, you know, he was going to just work right to that hen, and it was going to be game over for that bird. Then next thing you know, a, a Another gobbler had flown over our head before that one landed. He flew right over my shoulder, went right out towards that gobbler, and they both got pushed out off the field, and it was over. I couldn't believe it. So the very next morning, we were going to do the same thing, and uh, it was pouring down the rain, and so we had set up a blind so, to you know keep the camera equipment dry. And, uh, you know, we never heard a peep, never saw him, anything, so... This is the first dry morning. We're going to go ahead and get back in that blind since it's already up. And hopefully he does the same thing as he did the other day and drops into that field. And if he does, it could be a quick hunt because I'm not going to mess around, you know, in the last week of turkey season. If he lands and I identify him as a long beard, I'm going to take and put the hammer on him if I can. So uh, hopefully this morning is checkmate for this gobbler right here on Brothers of the Woods Outdoors.
When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Your time is valuable, and when you're ready to sell your home, farm, or commercial property, the key word is ready. Why list your property for up to a year and wait for buyers to find it? We find the buyers. With Joe R. Powell Auctions, you choose the day your property sells. Our targeted marketing brings buyers from across the nation. We sell your property in six weeks or less, not in months. Don't wait. Call 855-JOE-WILL to schedule your free consultation. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Call State Farm agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Hey, if you'd like to follow along with the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors team throughout the entire year, be sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated.
Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes! All right, guys, we got it done on the last week of season here in West Virginia. I tell you what, we have played a chess match with a couple of gobblers on this farm for probably four or five different hunts, haven't we, buddy? Oh, yeah. I tell you what, it has been, uh, it's been exciting. We just haven't uh, been able to make it happen. The first time we set up on top up there, and uh, you know, we thought we were in perfect position because I've killed several on that ridge. He flew down and hit this field or somewhere down here. We worked our way back around and they were, ended up in the well pad down there, but we just couldn't get close enough because we were in the wide open. Yep. So the next time we hunted, we decided we'd get in a little greenbrier patch over there. And uh, sure enough, man, that gobbler flew down about right here and uh, strutted and then the other one flew out of the pad and pushed him off and we didn't get a shot. He was about probably 75 yards. So we came out and put a blind up because on Saturday it was pouring down the rain, but we didn't hear a gobble or see anything. And then Monday morning, I knew this morning, I, you know, it's like uh, about 25 after seven right now. I said, I knew we could get a quick hunt in before I got to be at work. And sure enough, man, they flew out, hit the pad, and we thought we were out of out of the game, didn't we? Yeah, we thought it was over. And Gary kept keeping me calm. He said, just be patient, just be patient. And I was patient, and uh, they started gobbling again. I got the real hen, the Hardy's real hen out, just started doing some soft calls on it. And it brought them back out to that opening. And buddy, when they got to that opening, after they flew down, I had ran out there and put a hen out and then got back in the blind. And that hen was key for this, because when they come to that opening and saw that hen, you know, once they dropped down, buddy, they was they was coming on a string and those light calls really work good. Oh yeah, there's there's no there's no doubt. And I tell you what, he uh, he strutted the whole way in with his wing, man. And Gary told me he had him. And man, I put the put the smack down on him. And I tell you what, I couldn't be more thankful, Gary. Thank you for being my cameraman. It's so much easier when you got a cameraman than trying to do it self filming. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you, dear Lord, for this gobbler, because we're late into the season and I needed it. And thank you very much for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Boy, Jim, I know that felt good to finally put all the pieces of the puzzle together. It sure did. Hey, up next, we're headed out with pro staffer Gary Shepard and his youth hunter River and his father. But up first is this week's tip of the week. When you find yourself in a situation where you can't move in on a distant gobbler due to terrain, we like to add some realism to our calling by walking back and forth. This may add just enough realism to convince him to come your way. I'm Gary Shepard, and that's your Joe R. Pyle Auction Services Tip of the Week. Two wheels of four, the fun starts here at RG's. RG has a complete selection of new Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get you to the hunt. Our experienced team will help you get outdoors on the model that best fits your needs today. The business office can provide you easy payments to fit your budget. RG has a fully stocked accessories to customize your ride. The fully trained service team is here to maintain your Yamaha and keep it in top running condition. RG Motorsports in Bridgeport has been serving our community for 60 years. The fun starts here at RG. Hope Gas proudly provides service to more than 112,000 customers in 35 West Virginia counties. We currently employ over 400 employees right here in our beautiful mountain state. Our team is not only dedicated to providing quality service, but also to improving the communities in which we work. Please visit our website, hopegas.com, for more information, or call our customer service department at 1-800-688-4673. Hey guys, I'm Dylan with Johnson's Wildlife Taxidermy Studio. We're located in Grafton, West Virginia. I'd appreciate it if you would consider us for all your taxidermy needs. Safe hunting and God bless. Hi, I'm Todd Linger from Linger Tax Service. We do accounting, tax, payroll, and more. If you need someone to prepare your taxes for you for your business this year, stop by or give us a call, 304-657-2860. We do taxes.
Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. Okay, here we are. We're in the last week of the season here in West Virginia, and uh, I was fortunate to tag out on week two, and I've been trying to take a few people out, you know, when I get a chance to try to help them a little bit. So, taking my cousin's grandson, River Washington, this morning. He's never killed a turkey. His dad, Ralph's hanging, uh, hanging along with us today, and uh, they're just itching to learn how to turkey hunt and learn all they can about turkey hunting, and uh, so I'm trying my best to help them. Uh, we're going back here to a place uh, where we were the other morning. We heard a couple birds. Uh, but, you know, it's been tough this year, all year. It just seems like we haven't had a whole lot of, a whole lot of luck. But uh, anyway, we're going to slip in there real early, get set up. And we think we got an idea of where we want to be. And with any luck, maybe you'll ever get a shot at one this morning. Your time is valuable, and when you're ready to sell your home, farm, or commercial property, the key word is ready. Why list your property for up to a year and wait for buyers to find it? We find the buyers. With Joe R. Powell Auctions, you choose the day your property sells. Our targeted marketing brings buyers from across the nation. We sell your property in six weeks or less, not in months. Don't wait. Call 855-JOE-WILL to schedule your free consultation. At Hope Gas, safety is always our focus. If you plan on digging, state law requires you call WV811 to have lines located at least 48 hours before you begin any excavation. If you accidentally hit a Hope Gas pipeline, no matter how minor it may seem, leave the area immediately and call Hope Gas at 800-934-3187 and 911. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. State Farm Agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated and these fine sponsors. Closed captioning is brought to you by RDR Ready Mix Concrete.
raise your gun up. Slowly, slowly. River, you did it, buddy. <laughs> Good job. You smoked him, man. Good job. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> see how it just happened? Something. I just happened to look and see him. I know. And I There's said, seven. There's seven, seven Jakes. I said, don't move, because I didn't, I didn't figure you guys had seen him. I, didn't yeah. I could hear him. Yeah. yeah. I saw him over there, and you're like, don't move. I look over, I'm like, holy moly. I count, there's like, there's like six hands over That there. means next year, it's gonna be six big. That's awesome. Chuck. And man, he he, he, he come right, he saw that Jake and he couldn't take it. And a lot of times. I thought that was, I thought that was Jake. A lot of times other Jakes are afraid, afraid to come to a gobbler. They don't like, you know, they don't know how big he is or. <laughs> but he come, he come to her like he was gonna put the hump on him. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, get down there and get your hands on your turkey, buddy. Man, you made a good shot. Okay, well, I'm right here with our very happy young man this morning. This is uh, River Washington, his dad Ralph, the relatives of mine, and uh, they've never really had a chance to do much turkey hunting, don't know a whole lot about it, so I've been trying to help them get started. And they got some, you know, they got some decoys, some camo, and uh, they're, they're <clears throat> slowly working toward uh, getting what they need and, and trying to learn how to turkey hunt. And uh, so we come down in, we hunted the other day and heard a bird down in this holler, and there's always birds in this holler. So we, we slept down in here this morning real early, and uh, <clears throat> it had rained and it was real foggy, and we just sat quiet. And I told him maybe when the fog burned off, you know, we'd have some action. And uh, we never heard, did hear a gobble about eight o'clock, though. Here came a group of seven jakes, and uh, they got a little weird when they saw the decoys, but uh, two of them broke from the group and came right straight in, just like just like you would hope they would do. And uh, River was on the sticks and ready, and he flats, put the smack down on this old Jake. He killed his first bird, and I'm thrilled to be here with him and to be a part of passing it on to a youth. And uh, I'm just glad you were with us, too. And as always, we appreciate you watching the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Way to go, buddy. Thanks. Man, Dave River put a heck of a shot on that gobbler. Yeah, he did, Jimmy. Shot his eye out. Hey, and that's a wrap for Spring Season 7. Be sure to stay tuned for Fall Season 7. Hey, best of luck to everyone this turkey season. In the meantime, please follow along with us on our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube and our Carbon TV channels, where you can watch our hunts anytime. And as always, thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors.